think we got more than we bargained for this time. Good thing I am not superstitious or even a little stitious. Fashion baby. Well, that was about the coolest thing I've seen in a while. Do you guys see them all? It's like walking around with little fairies. Funny story time as I take off my pajamas. Yes, I said pajamas. This is the furthest I will have tried walking for a while. Oh my god, that was an owl. What the hell? Of course I don't have my camera. What have we learned, ladies and gentlemen? We've learned that if we leave our camera behind, we will see all kinds of things to photograph. <laughs> All right, friends, last time I tried to camp here, I ended up having a meltdown, crying to you all and bailing before I even got out of my van at the campsite. That is not gonna happen this time. This is my second chance to redeem myself for the season. Hour of when you arrive. And this is both for us. Just scooch right over here. All the way back. Okay, I can't wait another minute. Okay, friends and adventurers, Heather from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And even though I haven't been feeling very adventurous lately, um, or very hikey, not that hikey is a real thing or adventurous but anywho I digress I am giving myself a chance at redemption if you are no stranger to the channel you may remember about three months ago I was attempting to car camp at Blue Spring State Park in Volusia County in Central Florida area not too too far from Orlando and it was prime manatee time. It was cold out. There was going to be hundreds of manatees. And if you remember that video, you know that we didn't get to see any of that because I promptly had a complete meltdown when I tried to hike like a quarter of a mile and thought I was going to pass out. And then by the time I arrived at my campsite, it felt so horrible that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it through the night. So I just gave up in tears and drove home. And that was really what kind of prompted me to say enough of this. I need to figure out what's wrong with me. Um, you know, I need to, to make this my number one priority. Anywho, fast forward now, three months later, and I just happened to see that a campsite just happened to open up from yesterday to this morning because every so often I peruse 
some of my favorite ones that are not too terribly far from home base. Saw that there was an opening. Saw that because Florida's getting a bit of a cold snap again, probably one of our very last ones of the season, that um, it's going to dip down into the very low 50s Fahrenheit tonight. So that should be just cold enough to bring some manatees in first thing um, overnight into the morning hours before it warms up. So my plan is to have a relaxing evening here. Super simple, super easy, bare bones car camping. I know I like my gadgets as much if not more so than the next person, but I did not bring my fridge. I did not bring any of my little extras. I grabbed my coffee bin, my dry cooler bag with just the basics. I grabbed a power station so that I could boil water and heat my soup later. Grabbed a can of soup. Um, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, Tara already has her easy setup mode in place where I can use it as a daily driver for me and my kiddos still. So I think I've done enough blabbing for now. I am gonna run to the bathhouse, pee, get set up, which is really just gonna be me getting my windows kind of situated and settled in. And I'll meet back up with you to tell you why I'm so darn freaking excited. bathroom break. Now we can get settled in and I'll fill you in on the whole firefly thing. You can see I've got one of the private sites. That's the next one up there and there's none here. And then there's only one person on the other side of me. Just got some trees and scrub back that way. Picnic bench, fire pit, hookups, none of which I'm gonna be using because this is super simple camping and I'll show you what I mean. You can see on the inside, it looks like just a regular old passenger minivan. Aside from my coffee box and my dry cooler bag here and some spare water. And it just pretty much looks like a normal minivan there too with a little bit of stuff in the seats. Until you take a closer look. see she's still set up in bed mode and this is my little office area for before I'm ready to turn in for the night a workout. All right, I'll see you back there.
Okay, never you mind, Smokey and Flora trying to steal the spotlight back there. I'm gonna fill you in on why I'm so excited. So when I was checking in, the ranger told me that it's one of the few Firefly Nights that they host here. And normally you have to purchase a special ticket for after 7.30 p.m. to be able to come in and see it. And it's right after sunset, supposedly, they all come out. And that's happening right now. It's one of the nights. So since I'm camping here, he said I can just pretty much walk anywhere into the woods where it's not bright with lights and I should see a bunch. So I hope I can get some good video footage for you guys. I... Some of you guys might not think it's a big deal, but here in Florida, I very, very rarely ever get to see fireflies. So it's a big deal for me. I'm excited. So hopefully fireflies tonight and manatees tomorrow. You see here on the map, I'm site 13, and then the bathhouse is right here. And then there's this little trail that leads to the spring. I've shown it before in my other video that I filmed here, but I think that's gonna be my route to try and catch some on video and sit there and watch them for a while. All right, I got my key in hand. I have a light on this side. And a light on this side. And I've got a light for when I come back so I can actually see when I open the door. <laughs> you can see how I have it set up. I've got my emergency toilet slash surface space, my coffee, and then I've got my power station back there for when I need it and my work for in the morning. Now let's go look for some fireflies. Fashion baby. that was about the coolest thing I've seen in a while. Do you guys see them all? It's like walking around with little fairies. Alright, almost back to my site. You guys will have to take my word for it, but you can see I'm back at Tara. And the fireflies are still all around me. They're surrounding my site.
don't mind my uh, headlamp mark here. That was such an unexpected and magical evening. When I saw that a spot had opened up here at Blue Springs, I thought, okay, this is my chance at redemption. I'm going to go back and do the car camp that I was supposed to do a few months ago. Um, like I said, I knew then that it was prime manatee season, but since we're getting a cold front, I figured I had better than average odds at seeing some manatees in the spring tomorrow morning early when it's still cold out. I think it's going to get down to like 52 tonight, but I was not expecting the fireflies. I know somewhere in my memory banks that like mid-March to mid-April was firefly season here in Florida, but this was my first time really experiencing it. Highly recommend. I could have sat there a lot longer than I did, but I figured, you know, standing in silence in the middle of a path that, you know, a bear could potentially be on with me probably wasn't a good idea for too long. So I headed back to my campsite. And they were all around here too, so I just sat outside for like 45 minutes watching them. Just taking it all in, feeling like I was in a magical wonderland. So I really, really, really hope some of that footage came out so that you could get some idea of what it was like, because, wow. But with that said, I am getting ready to just heat up some gluten-free, dairy-free soup, even though it is processed. I'm trying to go through what I have before getting new stuff. So I'm going to heat up that in my jewel kettle and watch a little bit of TV while I eat. And I'll probably check back in with you again before I go to sleep. If not, I'll see you in the morning. For manatees hopefully but probably before then <laughs> funny story time as I take off my pajamas yes I said pajamas so I uh, went to the restroom and you know took off the overall straps as one does and uh, proceeded to go to the bathroom went to get dressed realized that my uh, little strappy strap was chilling in the toilet. <laughs> yes, so I did utilize the hand dryer for a long time to get it mostly dry, but I did experience the whole firefly magic with, you know, a pea strap on me. I hope YouTube doesn't edit that out because that could have been misconstrued. Anyways, I'm going to get my pajamas on and you can pretend like I didn't mention that because that was probably TMI, right? <laughs> or I've got my morning set up here. I've got my pens out and I'm going to be starting two new things tomorrow. Oh, I'm such a mess here. Okay. The first one I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do every day is this uh, going from mindful to mindful because my mind is definitely too full these days. And it is basically a two-page spread you're supposed to do every day. You're supposed to list three things you're grateful for, how you're currently feeling, um, how, what you experienced that day. So um, for each of the senses. And then over here, you're just supposed to take three to five minutes to journal whatever's on your mind and in your heart at that moment. So, 
that is what I am going to start doing every evening. So I'm going to do that in a minute. And then I think in the morning, instead of instantly scrolling, I am going to do a little word search with some positivity in it. Look for a little positive at the beginning of the day to set the tone, hopefully. fill station. I'll have to use that later. That's nice. Washer and dryer. Oh yeah, I gotta get my coat. I'm glad I took a picture of it. All right, we're back again. Good morning, by the way. No more fireflies. This is the furthest I will have tried walking for a while. I wanted to wait until I was fresh this morning, so wish me luck. <laughs> All right, we made it to the main parking area. Now I'm just gonna do the short boardwalk today and look for manatees. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I did not bring my camera because I didn't want to push it by carrying it and holding it and walking, so I would love to see some cool stuff, but I'm going to be really bummed if I missed a good photo opportunity. These signs and maps are new since I came last. See, we just walked over from the campground. Now we're right here, and we're just going to walk along this little boardwalk until we get to the Thursby house. One thing I wanted to point out that I never see anybody talk about, I think it's not really well known, is this orange dotted line is actually a really awesome trail. I've seen so much wildlife. Bears, deer, turkey, rabbits, scrub jays go for tortoises. I can't believe I came here for the Firefly event without even knowing. Here's some information on it. I like their little manatee fireflies. So you need an after hours permit which would normally be 14 so it was actually a really good deal that I camped here for a night. No bug spray, no capturing stay on trails. You see that's why they have all the red lights out so that people can see without it bothering the fireflies. All right let's go look for some manatees. I love a good steamy spring in the morning. gray cat bird. Of course I don't have my camera. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you.
big splash. What did I startle? This is one of my favorite stretches of boardwalk and Florida State Parks. Oh my god, that was an owl! What the hell? Of course I don't have my camera. So what have we learned, ladies and gentlemen? We've learned that if we leave our camera behind, we will see all kinds of things to photograph. <laughs> Those are two of the recent releases here. You can see their little buoys. They have them tied to a monitoring tag there so that they can check on their health. Hey, buddy. I think we might actually head over to the Thursby house because I always try to go on a Monday and they're not open on Mondays, so we might actually get in for the first time. <laughs> Busy, busy, busy. A new plan. I can feel myself getting worn out already, so I'm gonna head back to camp, rest, have some coffee, and then we'll drive over to the other parking lot to check out the Thursby Center in a little bit. I mean, the Thursby House. Plus, I need my sunglasses now that my eyes do not like the light and I'm a vamp vampire, so we'll go back and get those. Home sweet home, time for coffee. All right, you know what time it is, and I am debuting my new beauty. Isn't she a cutie pie? All right, let's get this coffee brewed, shall we? But supportive in you and your authenticity, and they see you, and you can kind of let my daughter be around this type of person and this type of behavior. Why would I subject myself to it? So I've just been like protecting that little girl inside of me. The protection that I never got and actually believe that you are less. Okay, I have to stop for a minute. If you guys are not following, 
you probably, if you were, know her as Montana Dana. She just recently changed her channel name to Another Dumb Blonde. <clears throat> Love her. I started watching her for her van life content because she had just gotten a Sprinter van and she was setting out to travel and I just really loved her personality. And then I just kind of kept watching her story through all of its different chapters. She's working on a musical right now where she's trying to put out a new one at least like once a month. I'm telling you, this lady is brilliant. She is hilarious. She can sing. She is entertaining. And she does everything herself. All of the editing, all of the writing, the singing. Like, I, she blows my mind. So I have got to give her a shout out. She doesn't know I exist, but you need to go follow her if you're not already. You will not regret it. This that I'm listening to right now is not her typical content, but I respect her so much for how vulnerable she is and how much she puts herself out there to people knowing the hate and the comments and the judgment that she gets. So I really respect that about her. Um, and I know that this video that I'm watching of hers had to have not been very easy. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking <laughs> about that and get back to my mindfulness word search and listening for a little bit longer before I head back over to Thursby House. But I'm telling you, go follow her. Another dumb blonde. She is anything but, and you will not regret it. Okay, so far I've seen gopher tortoises here, a cotton mouth. I have not seen the other three, but I would like to. I have come face to face with a bear here on the hiking trail. Did I tell you that story yet? If not, I will do that one day. No bears today though. Time to head out. But first I'm gonna stop by the Thursby house and check that out because I can't miss out on it again since I've been here a million times and still have never been inside. I'm really not ready to leave this site yet, but I have to go try to work today. I hope I can. I had to call out yesterday because it was one of those days I could not look at the computer without my eyes starting to do that warning, hey, you're getting ready to have an ocular migraine thing. So I could not look at the computer screen. I tried a couple of times and after like two minutes, the words started going weird. So I did not want to risk it, wanted to rest. And then the universe said, hey, here's this awesome site that literally just opened up today. Why don't you take that and go sit in the woods and be in the trees since you can't look at a screen? And I would say that this ended up being a pretty good alternative for the last 24 hours than if I would have stayed at home just sitting on the couch. At least I got to soak up some vitamin D, rest and relax in a beautiful spot, have a very memorable experience that I've been wanting to have for years. And now I'm, we're going to go ahead to the historic house. It's supposed to be haunted. I wonder if we'll see any ghosts while we're there. Um, but then I have to head back to work. So hopefully I can look at a computer today. BTW, do you like my awesome glasses? They're another one of those gooder pairs. If you remember my National Park ones for the Everglades National Park, the green ones, that my mom got me for my birth, or was it for Christmas? For Chris, for Christmas. Well, for my birthday, she got me another one in the National Park series of another one of my favorite places on earth, the limited edition at Great Smoky Mountains ones. And they match my new fridge. Cool, huh? I'm telling you, I, I think these are the only sunglasses I'm going to buy from now on. You can definitely tell it's crowded now that the park's open still. Lots of traffic on a weekday. 
I'm so bummed that I'm not up for the hiking trail here. It's really one of my favorite hiking trails in Central Florida. It's got a little bit of everything. So one of these days I'm going to take you with me on that trail. I think it's, it's an out and back. I want to say it's three and a half. It's either three and a half or four and a half miles one way. So you can go out as far as you want. Looks like we made it. This is why I said we're going to stop even though I don't feel like walking. As you can see, we can handle this walk. <laughs> it gets much more crowded as the day goes on. And they do shut down as soon as it reaches capacity. Typically on April 1st is when it opens back up to swimming and floating in the spring. But this year it's actually gonna be closed the entire year for um, renovations. They're working on the banks, I believe, to shore them back up. I swear I've seen a ghost up in that window before. All right, let's head in. What a fancy marriage certificate. Look at this, it's so cool. Look at all those things the tree saw. Wow. Oh, cool. Butler's pantry, I guess. There's no way to tell if I ever saw something up there or not. You can see where the grounds were originally. Alright my friends, back to life, back to reality. 
I would say redemption is mine. <laughs> I would say that this last 24 hours definitely made up for the 24 hours that I had to bail on and cry the whole way home from. Um, I had a wonderful, relaxing, much needed recharge time. I did get to see a couple of manatees, although I was expecting to see more just since it was such a cool morning, but it has been pretty hot the last few days. So I got to see an owl and all kinds of other wildlife. I had a beautiful, peaceful sight. And can we just one more time talk about how awesome it was getting to see thousands of fireflies just surrounding me and to feel like I was the only person in the world with them. That was amazing. I was fortunate enough to get to see the synchronous fireflies at Congaree National Park a couple years back. I'll link that video below. But this was like just steps from my campsite right here in my home state <laughs> and it's something that I've been wanting to do forever and what was made it best of all was that it was a complete happy accident like I just I knew somewhere in the back of my head that like mid-March to mid-April was the time of year that the fireflies can be seen here Wakaiva Springs a couple of other places in the central Florida area but it just didn't register until I pulled up and saw the sign and the ranger was like, oh yeah, enjoy. They'll be anywhere where there's trees. <laughs> so definitely the icing on the cake, definitely the recharge that my spirit needed. So I hope that I was able to convey a little bit of that experience to you. I know it was kind of hard to capture on video, but I hope you enjoyed coming along with me anyways. And I will see you very soon for another low-key chill but beautiful adventure where we will hopefully be seeing wild monkeys. Yes, wild monkeys. All right, bye.